Good afternoon from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Gaylord, Michigan. This is the latest hazardous weather briefing for eastern upper and northern lower Michigan for Thursday, May the 30th, 2013. Just a quick look at the hazardous weather highlights for the next several days. First off, thunderstorm chances across all of northern Michigan. Starting with this evening, we have some un ongoing thunderstorms as we speak and lasting through Saturday. Isolated severe storms are possible this evening, producing quarter-size hail. And then frost is another hazard that uh, is a possibility f across all of northern Michigan. This is going to be next Monday morning and next Tuesday morning with the possibilities for damage to sensitive vegetation. Starting out with the current weather map for this afternoon, we have an area of low pressure across the central and northern plains with a warm front that stretches into the northern Great Lakes region. Very warm and somewhat humid conditions exist south of the front from the Gulf Coast up through the Mississippi River Valley and right on up, uh, up into the Great Lakes region. Warm temperatures and a more muggier air mass across the region has led to the development of scattered thunderstorms across lower Michigan this afternoon. Generally a, a disorganized area of thunderstorms across lower Michigan. However, some of these storms have produced dime to quarter size hail for a brief periods of time. That will continue to be the case into the evening hours until we lose the heating of the day in which at which time we expect thunderstorm activity, the shower and thunderstorm activity to die off later this evening. Stepping through the forecast weather maps, through the day on Friday, this area of low pressure will start to move eastward into the far western Great Lakes region. We do expect another round of showers and thunderstorms, a more widespread round of showers and thunderstorms to develop out ahead of a cold front that will be swinging into the Great Lakes region. With more widespread precipitation, showers and storms spreading up into the Great Lakes region later in the day Friday and Friday night going into Saturday. As we get into Saturday, the area of low pressure will be about to cross through lower Michigan, again with more widespread rain and showers, showers and thunderstorms impacting the region. And then as we get into the early part of Sunday, the front will cross through the state and will bring a, a into the threat for any thunderstorms. We do expect some wraparound moisture and some showers to linger across the northern part of the state on Sunday. But the bigger story will be much cooler air that will move back into the Great Lakes region for Sunday and the early part of next week. Temperatures on Sunday will be in the 50s and 60s. Quite the change from what we what will have here in the next few days. For the early part of next work week, large area of Canadian high pressure will build down into the Great Lakes and into the Midwest and this will bring dry conditions to start next work week. But again those cooler temperatures are expected. Looking at the three-day rainfall forecast for tonight through Sunday night, much of the rainfall is, is still expected to fall across the, the central plains into the middle Mississippi River Valley, but we will get maybe a half to maybe one inch of rain in total across northern Michigan through that time. So wrapping it all up, unsettled weather into the weekend, warmer and more humid with several chances for showers and thunderstorms through Saturday. For tonight, look for low temperatures, mainly in the 60s across most areas, maybe some 50s near the lake shores. Marine fog will be found across the northern Great Lakes region. And again, those scattered thunderstorms, mainly this evening, across lower Michigan. As far as those hazards outlook are concerned, we do expect you know, some isolated severe storms are possible this evening. We've had, again, we've had some reports of dime to quarter size hail across lower Michigan late this afternoon. Areas of dense fog pers will persist across the Great Lakes through Thursday through tonight and frost, some frost potential Monday morning and Tuesday morning of next week. That concludes this hazardous weather briefing for this afternoon. Thanks for listening in. The next update will occur around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.